Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dawn. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button below. If you'd like, also hit the notification bell and then you'll be notified if I upload another video, which I hope to be doing more of soon. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we have been moving. We are now in our house for two weeks. Uh, we've moved from a quite large home into a smaller home, which I'm enjoying very much. It's also a more rural home, so we're kind of out of the big city. It's so nice and quiet out here, and I really am enjoying the change. I thought today that I would go ahead and do a video on some of the things that I have emptied. In other words, some of the things that I've tried, enjoyed, used up, and whether or not I would repurchase those. I will tell you that most of my makeup comes from BoxyCharm and Ipsy. It's just so much handier when it comes to me, when I don't have to go out and shop. So, um, full disclosure, some of these, most of all of these things are from either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I do have one though that is not. So let's jump right in. The first item I want to share with you is this Wander, is Wander Beauty Unla Unlashed Mascara, if I could talk today. It's, um, I really enjoyed this mascara. It is volume and curl mascara. As you know, going through my chemo, I didn't lose all of my eyelashes, but they did, did thin quite a bit, and this really helped. It did thicken and put, give my eyelashes some curl, especially for the first um, month or so that I used this. I really did enjoy it. Um, it didn't give any length, but that's not a promise, so I was happy with this. This mascara costs $24 if you buy it online. I'm not sure that I like it $24 worth. I have found some drugstore brands that work as well. So I don't think this would be a repurchase for me. Just as an example, what I have on today is uh, a L'Oreal Volumizing Mascara, and I find that it works just as well for me. Okay, next up. I have this Dr. Brandt No More Needles, No More Baggage Under Eye Depuffing Gel. Now I'll tell you the truth, when I first used this it was a no for me because I wasn't seeing any difference. But the reason was, the only time I was using it is if I was getting ready, getting makeup on, getting ready to go out for the day. And I would use this and expect it just to take the puffiness away. but what you have to do with this is use it every day and I've been had been doing that and seeing some difference in the puffiness under my eyes of course then we promptly decided that we were moving and it got put in a box and I just found it again so it's not completely empty but I will be using this up probably in the next month or so I'll let you know how it goes using it morning and evening with my skincare routine and if I see the puffiness go away. This retails for $42. If it works for me though, it'd be worth it because I battle this puffiness all the time. I have all my life, even when I was younger. So if it works, it would be something that I would consider repurchasing. Again, this came in a boxy charm box. Next up, I have this Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing uh, Aqua Balm. I did enjoy this. This came from Ipsy. It's a small sample, as you can see. And I really did enjoy this. It uh, was very lightweight. It had a nice watermelon scent. Went on really light. Uh, not. I didn't feel like that clogging pores feeling or anything like that. It was just very refreshing and I did enjoy this. As you can see, I used it up, squeezed the last drop out of this. I really did like it. So I did go online to see how much it would be to buy a full size, and it's $42, which seems a little pricey to me. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it, but I'm not sure that I would pay that much just for an aqua balm. Now, if it was skin care, that really was reducing lines or puffiness or something like that, then I would definitely consider it. But for just a day-to-day -day moisturizing balm, I don't think so. 
Next, I have the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream. We received this in a boxy lux a few months ago. As you can see, it's all gone. I loved this. It smells great. <coughs> Excuse me. It has a great smell to it. it. Smells like a vacation in a bottle. They do sell this size on their website, and this size is $10. So I'm not sure that I would ever spring for the full size. I didn't even look to see how much that was. But um, I enjoy it. Um, it did smell nice. It was a nice consistency, nice cream. But I have a lot of other different creams that I do like the smell of. I might consider picking one up, though, for $10 to throw in a suitcase if I was going somewhere. Last but not least, I have something that is not a boxy charm or a Ipsy purchase. This is from Avon. I believe I've mentioned it before. This is the Magic's Face Perfector Primer, and this is my go-to. I don't know how many of these I have used this last year, but it's been quite a few. I really enjoy this. It goes on so silky. It doesn't take a lot to cover your face before putting on your foundation. It keeps your foundation on. One of the things I love about this is it has an SPF of 20, so it does protect your skin. As I'm getting older, I'm learning the importance of that. I do have some age spots that have creeped up on me even though I've used SPF and foundations with SPF for years. So I would highly suggest this. It does retail full price for $8.99, but often you can find this on sale with Avon for $5.99, $6.99. So it's definitely, definitely worth a try. So if you don't have an Avon lady, you might jump online, find one to, local to you. I guarantee you will love this. So it's a definite yes for me, and I need to buy some more. So thank you so much for watching today. Again, I will be uploading much more in the future as we get settled in. Hopefully I'll have an office tour for you when things settle in. And also looking forward to doing the Boxy Lux and Ipsy unboxing and unbaggings coming up for you in the near future. Thank you again and have a blessed day.